Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Well, hey there. Happy Tuesday. Jimmy Roberts here, still getting used to Trip Eisenhower <laughs> actually, literally being <laughs> alongside uh, out in Wailai this week, Trip, yeah. Maui last week, Honolulu this week. But the courses are very, very different. You played there a few times. I have. A very different. I'll tell you who the happiest are, Jimmy, are the caddies. Last week, they had to be like uh, mountain goats climbing some of those hills. This is one of the easiest courses to walk. But you know what? It's hard to feel sorry for anybody that gets to hang out in Hawaii for a couple of weeks. Maybe we drink a Mai Tai in their honor. What do you think? Well, listen, nobody is unhappy who's out there. But a Mai Tai <laughs> wouldn't work out so well yeah, in this room. I I don't know if I'm that buttoned up. <laughs> but uh, as we said this week, the PGA Tour stays in Hawaii. From Maui, as we said, we head to Oahu. Nice music for the Sony Open in Honolulu. Wailai Country Club has been home to the event since it began in 1965. Among regular PGA Tour events, only the Charles Schwab Challenge at Colonial has been played for more years consecutively on the same course and since the tournament of champions moved to maui six players have won both legs of the hawaii swing jim furick was the first cam smith the most recent justin thomas the only player to win both tournaments in the same year that was back in 2017. and uh, as the tour island hops so too does our todd lewis now hunkered down in Honolulu, the envy of every person here in the building and no doubt beyond. Hey Todd, uh, listen, before you get started, rule number one, no gloating. I mean, it's tough here. The winds, I mean, <laughs> up to five to 10 miles per hour. I mean, we're hunkered down. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but getting back to your story on these two golf courses, I'm talking about the Plantation Golf Course at Kapalua and Wailai Country Club. They are complete opposites. Look at the plantation course. It's a big golf course, 7,600 yards, wide fairways, huge greens, and as Tripp was talking about, a lot of elevation change, close to 500 feet, and it is one of the, if not the toughest walks on the PGA Tour. You come here to Wailai, golf course is relatively short at 7,000 yards, a par 70 instead of a 73 at the plantation course. A lot of movement on this golf course. You've got to be a good ball striker because there are so many dog legs, and the fact that this is tree-lined, it's not wide open. This is a very different golf course than the one that they saw last week, they being the 19 players who have made the trip over from the Century Tournament of Champions to the Sony Open here on Honolulu. And those 19 players will have to make some adjustments. The greens putt, totally different. Um, your ability to hit fairways goes way, way down. You're thinking through positioning versus just hitting driver everywhere. So, you know, I haven't played there in a little while, so I really need to almost kind of relearn, uh, you know, where you, where you push it and where you lay back. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just the difference. I mean, it's, it's fun as a golf lover to, to play such drastic, you know, differences in golf courses, whether they're right next to each other or not. And I, you don't have two more different back-to-back -back weeks, I think, than Kapalua to Sony. So... I, it'll be a it'll be a fun challenge trying to make up for the decision making this weekend because it requires so much more there you know so gonna have to work on that I think it's just getting used to the lines I mean out here I think there's some tee balls where you can kind of just step up and hit it as hard as you can and not really worry about it and there's the opposite you have to be really really committed to kind of the shot shape and and your line off the tee because it's pretty tight and can get pretty firm I don't know we'll see when we get there if it's really firm and running or if it's softer but for the most part it's just kind of picking your shot and committing to it. The two things that I, I notice about that place compared to here are off the tee it's much more difficult to hit fairways here. Um, it's very easy to hit fairways there so I'm, I'm at a disadvantage in that regard and then in terms of speed control and knowing how fast and slow putts are I did a terrible job last week and I feel like this week just without the the big, you know, valleys and the, the views and the, the your, your optics, I guess, are just off a little bit for me there um, in, in speed control and knowing what's up and downhill. And it's so much slower uphill, you know, there than it's going to be here. The green's going to be a little quicker. So it's just a completely different course. This one's, um, you know, much more narrow, smaller targets. Um, 
and uh, I like I, I like that kind of course better for sure. And Russell Henley was in the mix here at the Sony Open last year, ultimately losing in a playoff to Hideki Matsuyama. Both Matsuyama and Henley are playing in the field here at YLI Country Club. Those two part of a group of 19 players that I mentioned that made the trip over from Maui to Oahu. That's only 13% of the field. There are 125 other players here that are kicking off their year at YLI Country Club. The last PGA Tour uh, event, that was the RSM Classic in mid-November. So there's been quite a bit of a gap between tournaments on the PGA Tour, and you can believe that a lot of those players have been sitting around and are very excited to be out here competing on tour once again. I'm just so excited to get back out here. It's going to be a great start to the year, playing five out of six. So I'm playing this week, uh, taking next week off, and then it'll be Farmers, AT&T, Waste, and uh, Riv to, uh, to start the West Coast. And that's kind of my bread and butter, the schedule. But uh, like I said, I feel great. Game's awesome right now. And it's just so great to get back with Travis and Hunter, getting my work in this week. And, and like everyone on my team is, has been doing such a great job getting me ready. It's a new year. First tournament of the new year. We won't call them resolutions. We'll call them goals for you. What are they? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm weird about my goals. I don't like to share them usually. But, you know, obviously obviously every week you show up, you want to win. Uh, but I just want to keep getting better. Uh, I, it's really fun when you come back to a tournament that you played 52 weeks ago. And I, I think back, I, I have, you know, walking around this golf course today, I have all these memories of where I hit it, how I was feeling, what I was working on, what I was doing a year ago. And... You know, every time I've come back to a place, I felt like I'm a better player, and I just hope that trend continues. And um, I'm really excited to see what I can do this year. Yeah, um, I took a really long break for me. Um, I think I put the clubs down for about five weeks, so for me, that's a really long time. And um, yeah, kind of got the itch again, kind of excited to go. So that was the idea, and excited to be here. I love competing. You know, I wouldn't be doing this still if I didn't love it, and I still love to be out here. So I, I miss it, even when we're off. I think that's probably common among all the players that you have to force yourself to sort of be off and get away from it because most everybody out here, they they love the stuff and, and uh, we're, we're ready to get back into it when it comes January. So that being said, how would you describe the excitement you have about teeing it up here this week? I'm excited every year I get to come to Sony because it's, uh, I mean, the weather, obviously, Hawaii, it's it's a beautiful place to come in January or any time of year, but when, when you've been in relative cold in the wintertime and kind of stuck in the damp brownness everywhere it sure is nice to show up here and and you got consistent weather and the the, the golf course is a, is a really good course to start the year on because it forces you to kind of you know it's narrow it's uh it it gets your sharpness sort of back in a hurry and so um it doesn't give you much chance to sort of like ease your way into the to the new year yeah, 2023 is going to be a very important year on the PGA Tour for its players because, well, we've talked about the designated events on the schedule, but let's not forget this is a Ryder Cup year as well. There are a lot of the players trying to make those teams on both the European side and the American side. As a matter of fact, Zach Johnson, the U.S. captain, is in the field here at the Sony Open. And one thing to pay attention to, over the last few years, you would think that the scores over at Kapalua at the Century Tournament of Champions would be lower than here, given how big a golf course it is, the elevation change, and how short this golf course is. Really not the case. The lower scores are over on Maui. This has consistently, over the last five or six years, been a tougher track to go low on. So we'll see if that plays out this week. Jimmy? All right, Todd, thanks. Continue to uh, hunker down. Uh, let's just look at this as your reward <laughs> for being such a road warrior the rest of the year. By the way, in case you're interested, it is 37 degrees colder here than there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs>